Hey guys, what's going on? I'm uh, just going to take a quick look here at the Dogecoin chart. Uh, ticker for this is Doge and currently on the weekly time frame. As you can see, we have this long-term pattern that is formed. This is essentially like a, a bullish pennant formation. Uh, more often than not, this will break to the upside. And when it does, normally the projected target is going to be the length of the flagpole. So big targets on this one. Now, you'll notice that I have two downsloping levels of resistance drawn in here. So the first one, we have multiple touches on it. Uh, this is the one we've broken out of. And uh, this is based more on the uh, candle body. So you see right here, this candle body up here, the candle bodies. Um, we broke out of this one. However, the next level of uh, downsloping resistance that a lot of traders are probably looking at is going to be right here. So based on the wicks, right? So we have this wick right here this one and this one where we are right now so three touches on this second trend line so i think right now the gap between these two trend lines was likely going to be the range now you'll notice right here we broke out of here and we did have a back test so we have successfully flipped this uh broken level of down sloping resistance to a support however it is possible that we come back and retest it once again now if you want to trade dogecoin obviously these are the levels that i recommend that you draw on the chart but also this up sloping level of support which is the lower uh, support line of this bullish pennant formation so just connect it uh, from the wick so this wick to this wick and then you'll see that we have multiple touches on it along here so if Bitcoin does crash and pulls the rest of the market down with it you can look to this zone as basically a high confluence buy zone anywhere being a retest of this downsloping level of uh, broken resistance or if we come down a little bit further uh, right here this upsloping level of support I will definitely be uh, looking to enter longs if we do come down here and I see it on time now you see that for three weeks we've just kind of consolidated pushing up against this final uh, downsloping level of resistance if we are able to successfully break above it with the weekly candle body close the first level of resistance I would anticipate uh, sellers to come in off of that is going to be slightly over nine cents so 0 0.09178 and if you uh, look left that's just based on the uh, top of these candle bodies right here and it was the rejection point right here so we have multiple rejections at this particular level so being that it has served as a resistance uh, multiple times already you can look to it to be a resistance level once again however the more often you uh, come to a particular uh, resistance the more likely it is to break right so if we do break above this uh, this down sloping trend line and come to it that will be the third attempt to crack it this year right so this is back in uh, January and given the fact that this uh, down sloping level of resistance has been in play for several years right now so about two and a half years I think obviously if we break out of it this is not likely where we're going to get smashed all the way back down what's more likely to happen is that if we break above this we get a little bit of sell pressure coming in here maybe a back test and then we flip this uh, level of resistance to support and then we make a push to higher targets right so one of those higher targets uh, is going to be around slightly under 14 cents and the way I got these price targets as usual I just ran a Fibonacci retracement from the swing high down to the swing low I'll try and do it right here just so you can see um, so right there all the way down to the low of uh, this wick right here and you'll see that pretty much lines up where I had these levels marked and yeah this first one is the 3a2 and I actually do have confluence at this zone uh, based on the price I'll show you that in a second the next level up is going to be the 50 at around 19 cents and then beyond that we have the golden pocket range which is the 618 to the 65 percent retracement level now, in terms of uh, how confluent these levels are with the price, well, you see this 65%, the top of this golden pocket range. If you look left right here, it is the top right here. So it was resistance right here. So if you were a trader who was only looking at the price action, and you did not run, run a Fibonacci extension, you would look to perhaps take profits uh, in this zone. And then the likelihood of traders selling is only amplified because a lot of traders are also going to be looking at this Fibonacci retracement level. If you look right here at the 50, um, this level was support right here. And then when we broke below it, it was a level of resistance. So we do have confluence with the price at this level as well. And again, that's uh, slightly over 19 cents. Now, this 3A2 was also a confluent level with the price actions. So if you look, it was support all throughout here. So yeah, those are the near and midterm levels on Dogecoin that I'm going to be looking for. Again, that is uh, about 14 cents, just under 14 cents. Um just under 19 cents and then this zone ranges between uh 26 cents up to 28 cents so 0 0.28692 
Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release new videos, just click subscribe, click the bell, click on all. If you leave this page without doing that, you're probably going to have, have a hard time finding the channel again in the future just because, as you can see, it's relatively new. There's less than 2,000 subscribers, and because of that, I'm not really prioritizing the search algorithm. Also, if you want a place to trade Dogecoin, I put a link to three different exchanges in both the pinned comment and the description. Two of those exchanges will require KYC. If you don't mind doing KYC and you want to get some bonuses, then check them out. But the one that does not request KYC information is OKX. So if you don't like submitting documents, uh, check out the link and then see what kind of bonuses they're offering you for a sign up. They're, they're pretty good right now. And also, you may need a VPN. Actually, if you're in crypto, you probably should have a VPN, whether it's for claiming airdrops or just keeping your network a little bit more secure or maybe using certain exchanges or whatever. So I also put a link uh, to a promotion on a VPN as well. Anyway, guys, that about wraps it up for Dogecoin. It uh, looks pretty good. We've broken out of the first downsloping level of resistance, and then now we're just working on cracking this next level. If, if we did, then these are your uh, near and midterm targets. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day. Bye.